and see if he's got a hot fudge sundae. What a beautiful day. Oh, you know what? I haven't found any ice cream yet, but that's a great idea because Brandon's right. We've got blue sky, few clouds. Tom Bedway is back with me. Eastern Market District. What a beautiful mural. We're right across the Fisher, right off of Russell Street. And you can see in the distance beyond the mural some great awnings, various wine shops, restaurants, Shed 3, Shed 2. That may be the area you're accustomed to shopping here, Tuesdays, Saturdays. But when you're talking about Tom's Place, uh, Ronnie's Quality Meats, and of course the Gratiot Market, uh, you've got a great location and you've got so much going on in there as well. Like I said, we've been here for over 50 years and what amazes me is that as long as we've been here, a lot of people to this day still think of the Easter Market as a Saturday operation. Yeah. And you mentioned that Tuesdays they're open out there now and Sundays the market is actually open. They do a nice job. But if you come down here any day during the week, you will see a lot of restaurants, bars, and other supporting businesses that have been here for the past, like I say, maybe not all of them been, have been here as long as we have, but the past 10 or 15 years, there's a lot of nice new places that have opened in yeah. the immediate area. So you go back 50 years, your dad opens up in this building. We're looking at 12 feet of meat counter Correct. right after the riots, 1967, and it's grown. Now you own the building and you've got other vendors. A lot of pride in your family for where you've come right through your kids. We're very pleased with the direction of Detroit. Yeah. We never gave up on Detroit. We are lifelong Detroiters, and it's, like I say, very gratifying to watch the transformation of the city and just to have folks like you come down and give us the opportunity to promote our business and other businesses in the area because we've worked very hard to stay during the bad times, and now that it's gotten better, we appreciate the support of everyone. Well, it's good to see you. Thanks for the hospitality. Great to see you. We're going to go in. So, uh, you know, we've got Tom's place right here inside Gratiot Central Market. Pretty nice murals all by themselves. We're going inside. Jason and Tati, the Red Truck Fresh Produce. Garage doors inside, outside. Another cool space inside this building at the Eastern Market District. We'll be back in just a little bit. See you then. That's got me thinking about going to the market on a Tuesday. You absolutely Beautiful should. Beautiful weather, and um, later I'm having a grocery delivery, but no meat and no vegetables. So I should yeah. go there and go to the butcher counter and then uh, go get some, some veggies. produce. Yeah. Sounds good to me. We'll be right back, everyone. All right, we're back out here live. Eastern Market District, Rosemary Bedway, you're proud of your son, Tom. He did a nice very, job. Very much. I'm right. very proud of him. We've been here a long time, and yeah. he's done a lot since we've been here. Yeah. And it doesn't get any better. It's good to see you. Thank you. Take My care pleasure. of yourself. We should remind you, Tuesday, today is uh, Tuesdays at Eastern Market. All kinds of great stuff you will find in those sheds that we've been pointing out across the expressway. But you can come in here. This is the uh, answer to what happens when it's not Tuesday or Saturday or you get into the winter. You've got the extension of the great fresh produce inside. So we're actually on the other side of where uh, Ronnie's Quality Meats is. But you can see that all kinds of great stuff is here. A juice bar, they make sandwiches over here and right through the middle they've got groceries so even if the weather takes a turn you can always head down to the eastern market district just to remind you again we're across the fisher you just park your car there if you like or you can find parking here on the street walk your way across and you will see 10 different vendors in this building ronnie's now 90 feet of meat counter it's crazy. I got more education about ribs and steaks and what's going on over there as well. And now this fresh produce and pasta and all kinds of cool stuff. And then right here, looks like it's coming through the wall, mid-30s vintage. Tati, Jason, look at this Ford truck. It looks like it would have delivered stuff back in Eastern Market back in the day. Oh, my. What that's a great exactly. piece to have inside this building. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. what that looks like. That looks like an old-school delivery truck. Very cool. Yeah. Very All right, guys, have a wonderful day. Enjoy it if you're coming out here today. We'll see you uh, back at the ranch tomorrow. All right, bring us sandwiches. Thanks, Chuck. I know.